fall's right around the corner and it's definitely the key season for making pies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make pie crust at home. Hi there foodie friends, my name is Carly and welcome to my channel, Adventures in Yum. Before we get into today's video, I have a passion for learning about creating and trying new foods, drinks, and especially desserts. If you wanna join me on my yummy adventures, then please make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll know when I upload new videos every week. And now let's dive into today's video. Pie crust is a super versatile baking staple that can be used to make so many things, like traditional pie crust, tarts, pie cookies, hand pies, quiches, and more. What's your favorite kind of pie? Let me know in the comments below. Mine is probably my mom's sour cream apple pie with like a streusel style topping and then drizzled with my homemade caramel. It's delicious. Pie crust is amazingly simple to make, so let's get to it. We're starting by cutting one stick or half a cup or 110 grams of unsalted butter into small cubes. I cut the stick into about 16 to 24 little cubes. Set that either in the freezer or refrigerator until we're ready to use it. Next, to a food processor, we're adding one and a quarter cups or 175 grams of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of granulated sugar. We're pulsing the ingredients a few times and then adding the chilled cubes of butter and pulsing again until the butter is a little bigger than pea size. As you can see here, I pulsed it a few times, the butter pieces were still too big, so I popped the top back on the food processor and pulsed a few more times. Now, we're adding a quarter cup or 59 milliliters of ice water into the food processor and blending until the dough just starts to come together. To make sure our dough is ready to go, we're grabbing a little bit of the dough and pressing it together with our fingers. If the dough holds its shape like you see here, we're good to go. If for some reason it's still too crumbly, add a little bit of ice water at a time until the dough comes together. Next, we're pouring the contents of our food processor onto a piece of plastic wrap and then using the plastic cling film to press the dough into one mass of dough. We wrap the dough with the plastic wrap and use a rolling pin to flatten the dough and help it come together even more. We then place this in the refrigerator to chill for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once the dough has had its little nap in the fridge, we place the dough on a lightly floured work surface and roll the dough into a rectangle. We then fold the dough into thirds like so, turn it 90 degrees, roll it out again, and fold it into thirds. Repeat this roll and fold a total of three to five times, making sure to lightly flour the work surface, top of the dough, and rolling pin as you need to avoid sticking. After the final roll and fold, we rewrap the dough in plastic wrap and place it back in the refrigerator to chill for at least two hours. Before we continue, if you're getting value out of this video, then please make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about my latest video. Now that our dough has chilled, it's time to roll it out on a lightly floured work surface. If you're making a pie, roll it into a circle shape about 1 8 inch thick. Because fall's almost here, I decided to make some cute pumpkin shaped hand pies. So I rolled the dough into a rectangle and then used my pumpkin cutter to cut the pumpkin shapes. A quick side note, this recipe is good for one pie crust. So if you want a top and bottom for a pie, double the recipe and use a regular size food processor, unlike the adorable mini one you see me using at the beginning of this video. Obviously, the time it will take to bake the pie dough depends on what you're making but these hand pies took about 25 minutes in a 375 degree Fahrenheit or 191 degree Celsius oven. While these cute little mini pies took about 18 to 20 minutes to bake at the same temperature. Here are a few notes when making pies. First, make sure that the dough is larger than the pan you're placing it into because you can always trim it. Gently ease the dough into the pie pan and press it along the sides and bottom, making sure that you do not stretch the dough to fit the pie pan because that will cause your dough to shrink while baking it. Second, when blind baking, aka baking without a filling, make sure to poke little holes in your crust because that will help the steam produced by the butter pieces escape while the crust bakes instead of becoming trapped and making weird bubbles in your dough. And third, make sure to not overwork your dough because that can also cause it to tighten up and shrink while baking. You can also find the written recipe on my website, adventuresandyum.net. The link for that is in the description below. If you're interested in checking out some of the products that I use today, please make sure to check out the video description below for their Amazon links. Thank you so much for joining me today, foodie friends. I'll see you next time for another yummy adventure.